Today I've been invited to watch the U.S. play in the World Cup and we thought we'd take a watermelon full of watermelon balls and I decided I'd like to cut it in the shape of a soccer ball. The things that you need for that are you need a soccer ball, a piece of scrap paper to trace the pattern with, a sharpie pen, a very sharp knife, scissors to cut out your pattern, and of course a watermelon. Trace the uh, pattern of the soccer ball onto my scrap paper. All right, now I've roughly cut out a uh, pentagon and a hexagon. The pentagon is surrounded by five hexagons. Cut the base off flat like this, and then you can stand it up on the platter. I'm just gonna put this right over the stem, and you can see I've already started, but with our Sharpie pen, we'll draw around our pentagon pattern. You wanna draw lines straight out from the angles in a radial pattern, about the same length as, uh, as one side of your hexagon. Now I built a hexagon. I'm going to choose one side of this to use as my pattern and just come straight out that length. So now we have half of a hexagon here. You can see we got our three sides and so we need to draw our other three sides. So you want to come down about double this distance right here and draw your horizontal line there just as a placeholder and then you want to freehand this so that it comes back in at the same at the opposite angle that it came out at and there's our first hexagon and we'll just continue doing this all the way around Okay, now I've cut all the way around the watermelon. When I was cutting, I was poking the knife at least halfway into the watermelon so that I'm, I'm cutting loose the red meat inside. So now it should lift off fairly easily. It may crack a little bit, but you can just lift it off. And this, this will be your top, and it has your soccer ball pattern drawn on it. It should pry out fairly easily. And there it is. So I'm just going to cut out the, the uh, pentagons and leave the hexagons. There's hexagons around the side, around the edges. I'll cut all those out and we'll have our lid for our melon ball.